This video is to provide just a brief overview in how to use the CNS tracking tool that has been created to help in tracking your supervised hours. So just start very briefly on the first page, which is the instructions page, um, just giving you a little bit of information in regards to one of the, the most important parts is that there's some cells in the sheet that have been pre-formatted, so it will be very easy to just update hours. Um, they are actually locked, so you should not be able to touch those. So if you're trying to click on a box and unable to do so, it is because it is formatted for the ease of automatic adding of your hours. Um, a couple things just to keep in mind is to use one tracking tool per supervisor that you work with and keeping in mind that you will be uh, documenting your thousand hours of experience in the categories A, B, and C, which we'll be going through. And if you need descriptions of what classifies in A, B, and C, they are listed here, but the document on competencies is also on the BCNS website. Um, in terms of recording time, because you are an Excel spreadsheet, for 15 minutes use 0 0.25, 30 minutes 0 0.5, and so on. The next tab that you'll see is the summary page. This summary page you will fill in with your information. There are drop-down boxes here to choose the type of setting in which your experience was taking place, as well as the type of supervision, whether it was in-person, remote, or both. And lastly, the type of supervised experience, um, whether it was observational or an independent direct type or a combination of both again. And this box here will automatically calculate to keep a running total for you. So this is a good thing to check periodically so you can get a good snapshot into each of the categories to know if you're missing um, any hours in a particular category. This also keeps track of the time spent with your supervisor as well as how many uh, clients or patients that you've also worked with. Along the bottom you'll see here that there are enough tabs for 12 months. If you do ever need to duplicate it, feel free to do so. I would suggest saving a copy before you start filling it in just so you don't have to delete everything that you have saved. But we'll use this as an example. This is month one. And along the top, you have where you can place your month and year that you're completing this, as well as there is a column for each of the days of the month. Um, along the left side, you'll see all of the competencies listed, and it's broken down very specifically into all of the competencies, starting with Category A. And I'll just scroll briefly so you can see. These are all of the competencies in Category A. At the end of category A, there's a total hours row before it gets into category B with all of the competencies that fall into that. Again, with total hours as well as category C. And then at the bottom, you'll see this will automatically total for you to total up all of the categories. You'll input here on line 138 when you spend time with your supervisor, keeping in mind the average is one hour per every 40 hours that you work. And that will also then total up for your daily total hours. Um, one thing that you will also want to put in here and just keep a running total of is how many clients or patients you worked with this month. On the bottom here, there's um, a place to type some notes. This is really optional. It's for your records. Um, just can really serve as a reminder about some of the activities that you did over the course of the month. Um, whether you created certain documents or educational pieces, if you conducted certain classes, um, if you want to even have notes in terms of clients that you may have, uh, have um, worked with. Um, keep in mind, though, there are HIPAA guidelines, so just to be cautious of that, you may just want to use initials or something non-identifying um, in that regard. So let's just go back up here and I'll show you just really briefly how to quickly use this and to keep track of um, the competencies. So what we recommend is you have a little check mark here. I simply recommend copying that check mark. And as you go through, we'll just for illustration say this is the first day of the month. You will simply check off the competencies that you covered in today's workload. So for illustration purposes, we will say that these competencies in category A have been covered based on your meeting with clients. And you will go down and check as many that apply. 
Um, granted, you're not going to check off every single competency every single time you meet with somebody. So it is important to just simply check off the ones that are appropriate for you and what you completed that day. And let's also come down to category B and just check some off in terms of what we saw here. And continue on down. We also see in category C, one thing to point out, category C is about nutrition monitoring and evaluation. And category C actually covers all of the competencies that are listed in category A. So you would select the competencies that you have met through these categories, but keep your hours for category C separately. So keep in mind nutrition monitoring or evaluation, this could typically be seen as just your follow-up visits. So let me just scroll back up here. You get the idea in terms of checking off the competencies. And let's say today you spent two hours doing that work in category A. And we will say that you spent another hour in category B. And you had some follow-ups today um, that were the competencies were checked off as well. And let's just say today's was only a half an hour in follow-ups. You'll now see that this has totaled up for you to a total of three and a half hours. For illustration again, we'll say that you met with your supervisor for an hour today and that you saw three clients. So this now gives you a running total. Total time spent in all of the categories, total time spent with your supervisor included for your daily totals, and also the number of candidates, uh, excuse me, the number of clients that you worked with. You'll also see that totals are being kept over here on the right side as well. So you have a running total at the end of each category A, B, and C on the right hand side. So now just to come back here into the summary page, you'll see this has now been automatically totaled up for you. So the two hours, one hour and one hour in those categories, time spent with the supervisor for a subtotal there of five hours and three clients or patients that were worked with. If you have any questions, please feel free to reach out to us. This tool is meant to be of a support to you to help you in the tracking mode and to also keep in the forefront of your mind the various competencies that are required to be met for the CNS um, qualifications. Again, any questions, please let us know, but hopefully you find this tool very useful.